40 degrees in here. The meter I showed you in the house said 50. There's usually a 10 degree differential between the meter up top, which I have the sensor mounted on that fan as close as I can get it to the house. It's about 350 feet away, so I have to put it there in the top corner of the greenhouse. It usually reads 10 degrees warmer there because as you can see the wood burning stove is right in that area. This thermometer says 43 degrees, so we have about a 7 degree difference. Now, keep in mind at 43 degrees, it's actually 15 degrees outside according to the Oregon Scientific Weather Station temperature reading that I showed you before. I'm going to bring in my wood. I had to go warm my hands because my hands were getting frostbite. It's so cold out here. So I'll bring in the wood now and I'll take you on a tour of my greenhouse. I'm going to turn the gas on so that it heats the greenhouse and then I'll work on the fire. I have a 20 gallon tank, pardon me, it's a, a 40 gallon tank. And I only use it on the front end and the back end of using my wood burning stove. I want some really quick heat, so what I'll do is use some rotten wood that's really light and you can tell this wood will really burn fast. So what I'll do is I'm going to load it real quick. The proper way to load a stove is to open the damper, because the damper is straight up and down. I make sure that the air door is open and then that way the smoke doesn't billow out like you saw it did a minute ago. For the times the smoke does billow out because of the wind, I'll just turn on my fan here and that'll suck out all the smoke. I'll close the damper again because I don't want it to burn so fast that I'm wasting my wood. I'll go ahead and open the vent as well so that the smoke can suck through the greenhouse. And I don't need that little door open anymore. There we go. The smoke should be out of here very quickly. <laughs> that 
that should be enough wood for now. That should last me until well into tomorrow, maybe even tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and close the vent. I try not to let my stove get hotter than 500 degrees. Sometimes it does, and it's okay, but I try to keep it at about between 500, anywhere from uh, 450, uh, and I don't like it to get hotter than 600. Let me show you around the greenhouse. 